Tucked between Interstate 81 and Route 322 in Harrisburg, you'll find Wildwood Park. Okay, I'll hold that for you. Peggy and Rick Price call it a gem. It is uh, close to some of the flyways for uh, bird migration, so we do get we get hawks and raptors in the fall, and we get and including eagles. Uh, actually, eagles are here all, all year round. The Prices have been volunteering to lead bird walks through Wildwood Park for the past six or seven years. They know from personal experience what research has shown, that spending time outdoors can lower stress, blood pressure and heart rate, while encouraging physical activity and improving mood and mental health. She seems to be coming right out of this, this willow here. It's very relaxing. Yeah, I mean, things that are relaxing, hobbies or sports, can be frustrating at times. Like the golfer, you know, that has a hard time putting. It's true in birding, too. You know, the bird just, you know, this wonderful bird just disappeared in the reeds in there. We know he's in there because it's still moving around. We can't see him. So, you know, it can be frustrating, but it's a fun type of frustration. And it gets your mind off of work. I had a lot of stressful years working. And uh, birding and fishing, too, were always relief for me. That's a Carolina wren. If you're yes. out here and you hear a loud bird in the winter, it's almost always a Carolina wren. It's really loud. Beachy, 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 beachy. Well, my favorite bird is a bittern. It's camouflaged so well that it's so hard to see, so that when you see it, it's very exciting. So that's my favorite bird. If you find somebody who comes who's experienced and you learn from them, that's very cool. And if you can show somebody who doesn't know how to use a binocular, if you can show somebody how to use it or tell them where the bird is, then it's pretty cool too, especially if you get a young person interested. That's what we need for the future, for sure. It's a different world. It's, uh, if you're indoors, you, you don't hear all the sounds that you hear from nature. One of the things about being outdoors is you become very observant about what's happening around you. Once you're out here and once you're looking and you see something, oh my gosh, it's a warbler, and then I'll see another one. I don't know. It gives me a lot of pleasure, and I hope it'll give other people that too. It makes you feel part of nature, and you're not so stressed. Five, six, seven.